Well, knocking on wood is not a good <laughs> investment right. strategy, yes. right? In retirement mm -hmm. planning, don't rely on that. Let's talk a little bit about how your firm is compensated. A number of firms around the country are going to fee only. Mm -hmm. well, that's exactly what your firm does. But a lot of clients probably wonder, mm -hmm. what does that actually mean? How does it work for the client? What do they pay? How mm -hmm. is it structured? And uh, why is it beneficial to you? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I actually would uh, disagree with part of that question. I don't think that uh, there are a lot of firms that are going fee only. There's a lot of firms that are going fee based. And let me explain the difference. Uh, in the financial advice, uh, financial services world, there are two, um, two different types of advisors. Uh, those that are commission based and they are regulated under the 1934 Securities Act, and it regulates that they have to be licensed and they can charge commissions and commissions can be earned on certain things. And then there is fee only, which are under the uh, Investment Advisors Act of 1940, which only receive compensation for fees. They do not have licenses, they don't get commissions whatsoever. Well, predominantly, the financial services uh, world is made up of people that are commission-based. And what had happened probably in the 1980s, around the 1980s, is the commission-based world discovered that fees are, are uh, a steady stream of income as opposed to commissions which you have to generate every single month. And so they started offering fees and still keeping commissions, and they're considered fee-based. So when you go to talk to an advisor, you really should find out whether they are fee-based or fee-only. The only doesn't have any kind of uh, commissions. They don't receive any kind of compensation other than the fee that they receive from the client. And the significance to someone who is looking for an advisor is that from a fee-only firm, there is much less chance of any conflicts of interest. There's always going to be some conflicts of interest, but a fee-based firm can charge you fees for managing your money and also collect commissions from the, the same, same money. They don't necessarily do that, but they could do that and they don't necessarily have to disclose that they do that. With a fee-only firm, uh, under that regulation, uh, they are required to d disclose any conflicts of interest, how we're being compensated, if we're receiving any compensation whatsoever from some source other than the client, which would include free trips to wherever or so forth. That's a conflict of interest, and it needs to be disclosed. Hmm. I'm curious too, do you have any agreements with other firms? Do you reach out to other advisors on clients' portfolios? Uh, is, is there collaboration going on at all between your firm and other financial advising firms? Uh, other firms, uh, uh, attorneys, uh, CPAs and so forth, yes. We can't be an expert in everything and it's always good to be able to bring uh, other professionals who have a different discipline and a different way of looking at situations uh, uh, especially when it comes to estate planning, for example, uh, we are, you have to be, uh, have a law degree in order to be able to write legal documents, and we don't have that, so we need to collaborate with attorneys when it comes to estate planning. And in certain complex cases that we may come across maybe once every other year, where an attorney's dealing with those on a regular basis, we need that expertise and we like to collaborate with uh, an estate planning attorney. In the case of uh, the accountants also, there's a lot of details that go into preparing tax returns and tax planning. Uh, we like to look at the big picture. Uh, we think of it as being uh, uh, a part of the investment strategy is, is to be tax efficient, but there's other things that come into play as well and other parts of the client's financial life that we need to collaborate with the, uh, with the attorney to or with the CPA in order to come up with.